X is equal to KB. This is KB. Today, I would like to talk about the five basics. And I would also like to discuss its relevance to x -wing. Before that, we are not a financial advisor. This video is purely for educational purpose only. If you are new, let me introduce myself. My name is KB and I'm from x -wing Group. x -wing Group specializes in global business, charity economy, luxury services, entertainment, investment, and wealth management. Exim Finance is a decentralized fund management platform built on BNB Smart Chain. It's one-stop DeFi protocol like mutual funds. Also, we have top marketplace NFT platform. Let's start DeFi basics. Okay, decentralized finance study group. Let's start decentralized finance structure. The background is evolution of blockchain technology. Second, crypto assets, automated payments, funding. Blockchain use in the financial field is becoming a reality. Let's explain DeFi. DeFi stands for Decentralized Finance. Please look at this chart. It's DeFi Pulse, total value locked. It's now 30. 8.9 billion dollars. Last December, we have over 110 billion dollars. Now the market is collapsed. Okay, next. High yield in the DeFi world. It reflects of the amount of savings that is no intermediary. I mean, we don't need to pay fees to brokers. DeFi was overvalued, but now it's crushing. The issue, no administrators. No ability to ask the administrator to protect investors due to operational errors. Next is the problem. Financial and IT literacy gaps. In other words, it's IT or financial divide. There is fight those who can benefit from blockchain technology versus those who can't. The technology should more advance. Areas acquiring future technological innovation from the user's perspective. What is the difference between DeFi and existing finance? I can say it's custodial or not. Non-custodial means having wallet and use dApps. Dapps means decentralized applications. You can see this picture. It's a metamask. It's an example of wallets. Custodial means bank manage bank accounts. Customers can deposit funds with the bank and entrust the bank with responsibility for the funds. On the other hand, DeFi. Each person has a wallet, and the wallet is a starting point. Trade using dApps. It's non-custodial. DeFi does not manage accounts. What is the dApps? Dapps, it's like ATM. Crypto asset exchange. They are like traditional financial institutions because they have accounts. Non-custodial, it means Responsibility is always your wallet. What is the difference ATMs and bank accounts? Although ATMs have deposit and withdrawal functions, ATMs do not manage or store the money. Crypto asset exchange, I mean it's CX, central exchange. They manage and keep custody of their customers' accounts huge responsibility and crypto as the exchange business. It's regulated. Now, it's DeFi. DeFi is just functions or features only and no control on accounts. Regulators feel difficult to manage the activity. One point, Exxon is a DeFi platform and Exxon is like 
mutual funds, but it is not a DEX because X has no exchange function. Wallet. What is a wallet and what is a chain? Please check later how to install MetaMask and how to connect MetaMask to Binance Smart Chain because X is BNB Smart Chain. This is the information for MetaMask. Mainnet, it's new RPC URL is like this, symbol BNB and blockchain explorer URL. You can use BSC scan, BSC platform paid fees in BNB. So please prepare BNB talk. Okay, let's talk with the history of crypto and DeFi. Crypto assets, the main is Bitcoin, have a long history, but DeFi is relatively new. Bitcoin was born in 2010. DeFi dApps were born in around 2017. For example, 2017 August, the Bitcoin price was $3,000. I remember Changely. Changely is a kind of DEX, but a little bit different DEX, it's a one-stop place to exchange crypto assets. And also, Banco. Banco was born in 2017. Now, you can use Banco platform. What is the purpose of DeFi? DeFi's goal is to restructure the financial system. But there are some problems, so solution for the problems with the conventional financial system. For example, savings, loans, lending, borrowing, insurance. Their functions are you can find these services on the DeFi platform. You can use these services on the digital world and solution for the problems with the conventional financial system. The problem is the dependence on centrally controlled companies. What that mean? You can imagine Visa, Mastercard, PayPal, they are giant companies, but they have the right or authority to freeze accounts, block transactions, and not open accounts for people they don't like. So they have authority. And next problem for the DeFi side is the central finance built on blockchain technology does not require KYC and has the characteristics of an open system that is resistant to censorship. It's pros and cons for DeFi. Okay, DeFi growth indicators. What is measurement of the DeFi? DeFi growth indicators. We use total value lock. What is a total value lock? It's the amount of dollars for using platform. They find it's multiple dApps can be combined. Money Lego, it's a toy blocks. This is a summary of DeFi history, early 2019. It's only 200 million US dollars, but the numbers is increasing. 1.2 billion dollars from 2020 February, 86 billion dollars 2021 August, and last to December, 110 billion US dollars. Now, the market is crushing 39 billion dollars now. Okay, this slide is the last part. DeFi is still experimental. If it becomes mainstream, the growth potential is immeasurable. I introduce nine major categories. Number one is stable coins. Number two is lending transactions. It's totally automatic. And number three is DEX or exchange. You can swap your tokens to other tokens. And number four is financial derivative. Number five is asset management like 
xin finals. Number six is lottery tickets. Number seven is payment and settlement. Bitcoin is used as payment. Number eight is insurance. And number nine is governance. Governance is, it's a governance for companies, something. That is an example. Okay, X-Wing is a bridge of real business and crypto economy. Today, I explain the five basics and this case. It relevant to X-Wing. Thank you for watching Exit Crypto TV. I hope you will continue to tune into this channel as I will continue to provide Exit Finance Platform, NFT Platform, and full crypto news. Please subscribe our channel, also follow Exit Telegram and our Twitter. Today I talked about the five basics. Thank you.